Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be using the latest Gina K Designs card kit called a big hello to create a clean and simple Valentine's Day card. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to make. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I am so glad that you're here again. A couple weeks ago, I watched the live Gina K Designs release where she debuted lots of awesome stamps and dies and she also debuted her newest card kit. This kit is called a Big Hello and it comes with three full-size stamp sets, a full-size stencil, coordinating dies to some of those stamp sets, and some other goodies like cardstock. I had been trying not to spend money, but when she said on her live how it was so much better of a deal now to buy it than when they start selling this individually, I jumped on that because she's correct. I got all of this stuff for $60 and just these three stamp sets would have been close to $70, $75 themselves. So today I wanted to get this out and use it. Everything is from the card kit except I did get out a blender brush which this is just actually one from the Dollar Tree. And for Christmas, I got all of the Gina K ink cubes, so I got out two of those that coordinate with the card stocks I'll be using from the kit. They are bubblegum pink and red velvet. If I add anything later, I'll be sure to let you know. Now, speaking of that, once I start the card, I will go to a voiceover, so if I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! So my piece of Bristol cardstock will not move around while I'm doing the inking. I got out some of my Scotch Blue removable tape and adhered that to the back of the stencil. Next I got out my bubblegum pink ink and I'm just starting with the lighter one so if there's any leftover ink on the brush that I'm using a darker one later. But I just kind of inked a couple diagonal lines there on my piece of cardstock and you'll see there I kind of rub it off first on that white piece of paper before I take the brush to my paper. Again, if you want inking tips, I am probably not the person to get that from. I am merely having fun here and playing around. Here is a look at the finished piece once I pulled it off the back of the stencil and I think it looks pretty good. I set that piece aside to let it dry well and then I got out my stamp set so I could stamp my image and my sentiment for the focal point. I chose the little envelope with the heart that looks like it's hanging from the sky and then the signed sealed delivered sentiment. I inked these both up in VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then once I had it all stamped like I wanted it, I pulled out the heart from the set and then I'm going to use that to kind of color in the heart on the envelope. Now at this point I didn't even know if it fit perfectly but it wasn't going to be a big deal. I inked that up in the red and I really like the way that that added some color. On the inside I am going to go ahead and stamp the I'm yours. It's a teeny tiny sentiment but I thought it would add something. So it, the card says signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours just like that old song. Next I pulled out my Fiskars photo trimmer and I trimmed that piece down so there was an even border on all sides except on the top I cut right to the top of the string so it looks like it's hanging from the top of that piece of cardstock. I then adhered this piece to a piece of pink cardstock and then just trimmed it down so there was an even pink border on all sides. And now it's time to get this card put together. I matted my stenciled piece with the red cardstock and then placed that onto the pink card base. I was then just going to put my focal point straight on there, but I decided that I needed a little more. So I cut a strip of red cardstock to one and a half inches wide, and then I got my Stampin' Up! triple banner punch out and put a little fishtail in the end of that. I thought that this helped the sentiment stand out 
and pulled in more of the red. Once that was all put together, which I put the cinnamon on with some foam tape, I then decided I needed some bling. So I pulled out my clear gems and I added three to the left side of the sentiment. And here is a look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed getting to see how I created this quick and easy Valentine's Day card using the new Gina K Designs A Big Hello Card Kit. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools that I use in the video, I do have some links in the description box.